So yeah, start the run. Got to say that. So it's my first proper run since Newcastle on Sunday. So a little normal course. Start from home, alley padding back, bit hills, which is probably gonna kill me because I did hill sprint session yesterday with Eli. We did ten, four sets or eight sets of run up a steep hill, walking back for rest. Yeah, and I thought to roll out afterwards, so my calves are killing me. So, did a roll out before this, now I'm running. So, I'm planning to do this in 25 minutes, it's pretty slow, but I'm taking it easy. So I'll catch up with you guys afterwards. I'm back. Yeah, just did a cheeky night 5K. First run, like I said, during the last video, since Newcastle, where I got my PB. Two hours, five minutes, ba -ba baby. Anything with that though, was hard because like, this is the bit largest race, or one of the largest half marathons. There's lots of bits where it's like bottleneck, trying to run past people, and you spend most of your time doing that. But besides that, it, yeah, and yesterday, because I've started doing like hill sprint training and stuff, building up stamina and things. Did it yesterday with Eli and Juliet up Ali Pali, and man. Last, the last one I did was fine, but this one just killed my cast, man. And then driving this morning just didn't help. But, shit. It was good, it was good. This run was relaxing, it's what I needed. Got a lot of things going on at the moment, and just helped me get through some mental stuff. But yeah, I'm tired. I'm craving meat. Because I'm basically like 80% vegetarian now. But um, it's weekend, so I'm gonna indulge in the beef. So I might go five guys and get the most dirtiest burger ever. It's a shame that Byron's isn't around here. Or like Wahlburger, because their burgers are just, mmm. So I've got to do next best thing, five guys. She's literally like a five minute walk from my house. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I need to go to the gym. I was gonna go to the gym. But I'm just, I'm, I'm, I don't know what's going on. I'm just slacking in life now, man. But yeah. This was today. This video is gonna be pretty weird. It's probably be like two weeks in one. Cause I haven't really done much recording because of, like I said, personal stuff. Cat gives my diet literally lost Saturday. And it's just been weird since then. Just trying to like, just get used to coming home, find him in my bed, being ignorant, just not looking at me. Or me open the door in the morning, him come running in. Just weird things like that. Just, it's gonna get used to off having for like 13 years. Yeah, and then, Trying to find another run, run to do. Might do the 40 Hills one on September 29th. Got my friends organising that, so I'm gonna probably do that. And that's be the day after the 10th anniversary of Cousin Page's death. So yeah, bit of weird month September. I don't. It's weird for me because next Sunday is my Nan's birthday. who passed away two years ago. So yeah, it's just a weird. Then October is my grandma's birthday, who also passed away three years ago this year and in November my granddad birthday who died last year yeah it's just uh anyway man um got to keep the positives man you keep the positives and it's not looking for a new job just kind of had enough of my job now just feel like I'm going nowhere just lost motivations I need to find something better with myself I'm just, just, just shutting out my heart here do what it is anyway catch you in the next video It's been a while, it has been a while, and I'm back. Yep, I've neglected everyone, which is pretty terrible. I've had such a busy couple of weeks, but yeah, you know, I'm back. But probably how it's uploaded, women, there is a difference. But yeah, so I am on my first a run since, I want to say, the second week of October, September, after the Great North Run. I've really ran anything, it's been pretty bad for me, but, so, but I'm getting back on it. You know, you've got to get into this winter running as I've got the marath LA Marathon. Yeah, 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 yeah. And some other runs through in between that. So now, right now I'm at Green Park. Gonna probably try and head down to King's Cross, get on the canal, and then follow it to wherever it leads or wherever I get 
annoyed because I'm probably going to do a 10k I'm not going to do anything big and heavy today probably do like a 5k on Tuesday so I'm not doing anything Tuesday so yeah um, it's going to be a bit of a different one for me see how it goes I'm quite nervous it's been a while well we'll see we'll see no big things in it if I just like slow down walk for a bit I've got to do it you know what I mean no problem in a little slowing down it's, it's life isn't it it's life like I said before, you've got to ride these cosmic raves. Um, anyway, so I'm going to stop babbering for now. And I will get back to you at the end to see how I went. Alright, catch you in a bit. <laughs> so, I'm done. So, was it meant to be an hour run? So, I'm do like 10k. Ended up getting in the zone, finding the canal, and just ran for like 9 miles. I think I'm in Lambert Grove right now. So, I started at Green Park, then headed to, headed down Warren Street, turned down to King's Cross, and then just ran, because I found the canal, so I just, I headed from King's Cross, I ran through Camden, Regent Street, Regent Park, sorry, all these places, and I'm in Lambert Grove, pretty good, um, don't feel anything, so I'm alright, probably like, hurt and shit, Oh, and stuff. Oh, no, I'm good. Good. So now, I'm gonna try and figure out how I'll get home from here. <coughs> Hopefully, run again on Tuesday. Um, yeah, I thought, really thought because I ran two weeks, I'll be, be like struggling and stuff. But no, I'm pretty good. Pretty good. Um, legs are fine. Reels fine. Saw some lovely sights on the canal. But yeah, I'm glad. Just glad. Yeah. So. I haven't lost a step, which is good. Yeah. So Tuesday is we going for this. Hopefully go to the gym as well. Do some fitness classes with my friend Eli. Feeling a bit get a bit filled with abs, you know, a bit early. But yeah, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool. So I'm gonna go to Sainsbury's now, get a drink, find a new train station and go home. So I'll catch you guys later. Yay! It's my second run of the week. It's Tuesday. I said I was going to run on Tuesday, but a bit late because it rained. But I'm going to do a little, probably up two miles, a mile, depends. So I'm at Bouncy Station now. I'm going to run back to it. Then eat, because, you know, it's what it is. But I'm feeling pretty good. It looks pretty firm, pretty tight. So yeah, I can do this. Uh, I'm going to go the main way home because it's dark and I don't want to get touched. I'm running. But yeah. So, catch you guys after, let me know how I feel. Du, 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 du. So this is a retroactive video, because the last video I didn't have an ending, so came back to it, because I forgot to record after the run. So, if you don't know, I, li I like tend to re record a lot, and then release it later, because I'm, I'm like a month behind, if you know what I mean. But, yeah, so that Tuesday, I went for a run. I believe I did two miles. <laughs> Could have did a bit more. Can't remember. Should have researched a lot more. Um, it was back when it started getting dark really late. So I didn't really... Early, sorry. So I didn't really do that long of a run. If I remember correctly, I took a train to Bounds Green. And then ran from Bounds Green to my house. I think I went up Alley Pally back round. Um, it was a very intriguing run if I remember correctly I did come home to some homemade lasagna no it wasn't lasagna it was spaghetti bolognese I made myself with corn mince and some spinach garlic all that goodness a side of garlic bread it was amazing and then I went to bed and I didn't run at all after that because I was working overtime all that week so I didn't really run at all and it was the week after the Great North Run, wasn't feeling too good, had a lot of emotional baggage because, you know, cat died that week, week before actually, and I was still kind of feeling it, you know. It's all hard to get him past something that's been in your life for like 13 years and then just a moment gone like that, but he went out peacefully. Love you, Gizmo. Peace out. But yeah, so that was my Tuesday night run. 
I went gymnastics the next day, if I do truly believe. And I think I worked that Saturday as well. So yeah, fun times for all. But yeah, so that was it. Um, again, would you please follow, like, and subscribe. Tell, tell a friend, be inspired. My lower third should be coming down here. Tell you we can follow me on Instagram. And then a couple of seconds later, a big bloop will be my charity link. Um, also, link for my charity will be in the video, at the bottom of the video. So please donate. Yeah. And thank you all for watching. Namaste. Um, I'm looking skinny. But yeah, namaste. Have a good one. Thank you all for watching. Love you all. Peace out.